gonna share testimony at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. Hey, you. Yeah, you. You ready? It doesn't matter, honestly. Whatever kind of tea you want to give me, I don't know. I'm not a tea drinker, so. Well, whatever option you want to give me, I will be grateful for. Maybe you could do like a lemon one or a mint one. Like, just like, I just want like a calm and a soothing one. Ooh, yeah, that one. All right, good morning, guys. Um, as you guys can see, my mom is downstairs uh, making me tea. Great mother. Great example of a great mother. Love her so much. God, ooh, I can't wait to bless her. Ooh, I can't wait to bless her. You feel me? No, but uh, genuinely and um, seriously, uh, my lips are chapped, but that's okay. Um, this is... This is real life. So every day I'm not going to have chapstick on. You feel me? Like some days I'm going to have chapstick on, some days I'm not. Some days I'm just going to have to keep on licking my lips. You feel me? But um, I don't even know if I should have been in my room, but I finished my room. Ah! No, but seriously, um, yes, my mom's taking me tea. I just got back from walking the dogs. Um, mm, that was really good. I try to walk to a certain extent, and, and I thought I went like a little too far. And girl, girl or boy, whoever's watching this, I did not walk far enough. So yeah, um, I ended up just putting in my maps, my house, and um, I'm kind of disappointed, but yeah, I needed the directions back to the crib because I was lost. And like I said, I thought I went too far, but yeah, so the dogs are tapped, they're downstairs, they're just chilling and whatnot. And then today on the agenda, I don't have nothing to do today. Um, I, like I said, I finished cleaning my room already, and then this video is going to consist of why is God real? Um, I think a lot of times us as humans, we get carried away with the simple fact that there is no hierarchy or, you know, like there is no one above us, but I'm going to share a testimony at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. Um, right now, I just want to you know, just answer the simple question. This is bugging me out of my yeah. There you go. I just want to answer the simple question. Um, how do you know God is real? Or people might say, why is God real? But I want to answer the question, how do I know God is real? Um, God shows me countless of days throughout my life. I was going to say throughout the year, but throughout my life, um, different life experiences have shown me um, that god is real and cash can probably contest right because if god wasn't real cash wouldn't be here she didn't tore up so much stuff look and messing up the video oh my god bro what the heck dude and she does not care <laughs> but um god is just genuinely he's good he's the lord he's the savior um I'm not going to act like I know every scripture. I'm not going to act like I know everything about God, but I do know that he is real. Um, like I said, he's just shown me multiple times on multiple different occasions um, from something small to something big. And sorry, I don't even know if you guys can hear me because this this girl freaking extra, bruh, bruh, bruh. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But um. That's the hanger. That's not aesthetic or cute. The crock isn't either, but that's gonna stay. Um, yeah, and I thought this was gonna be a lot easier, but honestly, like I thought it was gonna be a lot easier explaining how, like, I know that God is real, but I don't think I can explain it without getting into my testimony. And so here goes nothing. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Um, do everything that you guys think you guys should do. Um, I know in the previous video, I said I wasn't going to be posting my Instagram and stuff. But honestly, I think I will be like posting so that people could see the different content that I'm putting out and whatnot. I'm honestly just trying to think about it. I don't know yet, so I'm going to stop like telling you guys stuff because I don't want you guys to think something and then something different happens. But um, back to the testimony. So... My mom is a school teacher. Um, 
if you guys know us, you guys know my mom is, like, really heavy on education, you know, and if you guys know us, you guys also know, like, if I did not play basketball, I would not be, you know, like, in college or whatnot, or I'm not going to say I wouldn't be in college, but I don't know if I would still be in college. I'm going to be finishing up my fifth year in a month or so, so, like, this is way, this was way out of my league. This was God's plan, you know, so, um... I'm, I'm this, I'm this little girl, uh, this little school age girl, and I was just, like, so smart, I'm not even gassing myself up, I was just, like, really smart, uh, I was, like, in the gate programs and whatnot, and so, uh, I went to this school, and I had skipped a grade, and fun fact, uh, you guys do know now that my mom's a school teacher, I went to school with my mom, she was not my teacher, because she didn't want, like, the conflict of, like, the mother and the daughter, and, like, I don't know, it made me sad, but she was like, at the end of the day, it's for you, whatever. And so, I I skipped a grade, and and I, I didn't want, it's not I didn't want to, but when I got to a certain point, when it was time for me to transition from middle school to high school, my mom felt like I wasn't ready, and you know, so we talked to, not we, but my mom advocated for me, and you know, she talked to the different people that she used to talk to at the school and whatnot and try to get, like, you know, some answers or some help. And she was just trying to give them her side and her version. But, like I said, I was a gay student, and so my grades were crazy. Like, you feel me? Like, A++. Like, come on now. Like, it was crazy stuff. Okay, not A++. But it was crazy. Like, I didn't have bad grades, like, at all. And so the counselor, to say the least, he was like, no. And so I went on. I kept going. I kept going. I kept going. After high school, I went to JUCO. So I went to JUCO for two years. And then the end of my JUCO, like, that season that I was in, like, that chapter of my life of just going to junior college and trying to figure it out a little bit and living with my cousin and living with my bigger cousin and just, like, not living with my mom it, and, like, living with my teammates and stuff, just, like, going through a lot of different stuff. You know, it taught me a lot of different lessons. But that was the start of COVID. And so... I had committed to Cal State LA, where I go now, um, and um, the first year was COVID, and so we were just doing a whole bunch of stuff on Zoom, you know, whatever, 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 and so then it was my second year at Cal State LA, and that was my first year where I could play basketball, actually, you know, and even then, it was a little, like, horrifying, different stuff was, like, there was different um, requirements, and everyone had um, different guidelines and whatnot to follow, and so since we were in the heart of LA, our guidelines were people couldn't come to our games, and so y'all was okay, you know, so just going through all that, so that was the first actual year, but my second year being enrolled at Cal State LA, so my third year, which is this year, um, I started season, you know, and everything was going good, um, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of going through some mental stuff in my head, you know, you always think that the grass is greener on the other side, and sometimes it's not, and I'm like a firm believer and everything happens for a reason. And so I've been feeling like this aching stuff and all this stuff. And I tore my meniscus. So, which meant I, I stopped playing. The last game I played was the day before Thanksgiving, literally. And so, which means that I didn't even play. Like our season hadn't even started yet. Like that was still exhibition games. And so I never got a chance to play or whatever. And so I was just going through this period of my time, and obviously basketball season is over now, but, and I'm getting ready to transition into the next basketball year, but I was just, you know, like kind of trying to figure myself out and trying to figure everything out. And, and then it dawned on me, wait, you're hurt. So you can medical redshirt. So what does that mean? Back when you was in middle school and the counselor who said, you know, Anaya is too good at, you know, at school and whatnot, and so we can't hold her back or whatever. God said, well, I said, we going to do what I want to do. And so at the end of my educational career, he gave me another year. And and the reason why my mom wanted another year, I don't know if I explained this or not, but the reason why I wanted me to have another year is because she just didn't think I was mature enough. And so I had this last year to mature and to be great. 
and and this was not nobody's plan. I was supposed to be done with basketball. I was supposed to be been done with basketball last year. Kobe was never supposed to happen. And so though Kobe gave me another year. Okay. So that was already another year, and I didn't even see that as a blessing. And then God said, well, let me single you out and give you a single hand blessing. Let me allow you to take this different path because I know this is what you need. And so I'm just here to tell you guys today, like, God is real. God is true. Um, if, if I'm being honest, I didn't, I wouldn't know, like, I would be really nervous to step into life right now because I still feel like I'm growing and I'm trying to become the best version of myself and daily I struggle and so I am ecstatic and I am grateful for God allowing me to get this extra year it you guys did not understand it literally means the world to me but that's how I know that God is real um and then like, like, that also means that next year I don't have to pay for my master program, which means I walked away with two papers. Let me, I'm not even talking about JUCO. I'm talking about Cal State LA. I walked away with two papers for F-R-E-E. -E. Tell me God isn't good. Like, I, you can't tell me that. I'm not going to believe you. I'm going to look at you like this. Because I know my God. I know he's real. I know he's real. Like, everything happens for a reason. And I want you guys to remember that. And I want you guys to know that you guys aren't alone. Everybody goes through daily challenges, daily life stuff, daily struggles. It's okay to cry. You know, like, I never used to think it was okay to cry. But it is okay to cry. Like, it's okay to let your emotions be free. And, you know, like, explain and express how you feel to people and I'm getting a little emotional but it's okay you know to not be okay you know everybody wants to put this thing out into the world like everybody's gonna be okay at all times and if you're not then something is wrong with you and whatever 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 that's not even the case people people could cry off rip about talking about a testimony and get emotional you know what I'm saying like everybody I don't know. Everybody has their own journey. God is good. I want you guys to know that God is good. God is on your side. Even if you think he's not, God is watching you. God is watching you. God is watching me create this video. God is watching you guys on the other side of the screen. Watch me cry. You know, God, it's, God can see everything. God can see everything. So I want you guys to give this video a like. Comment down below. You know, if you made it this far, I don't even know who watching. It could still, it could just be me, Cash, Callie, and God. I don't know. But if you're still watching, you know, you could give this video a like. Um, comment down below. You know, you could subscribe to the video. You know, just show some love. This is a nine. This is me. I don't know where I'll be in a year but i'm hoping to be somewhere great i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video don't forget it's okay to cry okay wait before i really leave i just wanted to show you guys the finishing touches on my room so i put my dresser right there this is real life literally uh there's food right there just ignore that um my tv on my Xbox, I got to do a little stuff with that. I put my little bed right there. The little setup is right here. My bed, obviously, is not made. You know, I switched this around. I put my pictures and stuff over the sign, over my bed. And then I put my mirror right here. Ooh. And on top, it says, I love Cali. And then it says, Anu and I. And it says, there should be 13 reasons why you will be great today. And my mom said it was a lot of reasons. And it is. But it's okay. I... And then over here, we have my shoes. I switched up, uh, like, where my shoes was and everything. And so I'm waiting because the rest of my shoe boxes is at Cal State LA. And so I'm waiting to, like, get that and so I could put that up. And then, yeah, and then we got a little hanger. We got some stains on the carpet. And then we got Cashy. You say, bye, Cashy. You say, bye. Guys, look at her shedding. <laughs> say, bye, Cashy. Say, bye. Bye, mama. You have eye booger. Let me see. 
Say bye, Cashy.